Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create this pattern using Python. So first of all, let me explain you that what this pattern is. So here we are taking a string from the user. You can manually feed that string into the program also, but to make this program more dynamic, we are taking the string from the user and then we are printing that string in the form of a triangle. Okay. So this is very similar to our triangle pattern that we have created for our alphabets but this is a little bit different because in that we were incrementing the alphabets but here we have to increment the elements of a string okay so let's get started Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to take the input from the user. Let's say we create a string variable and then we ask the input from the user and enter the string. Okay. And then let's create a for loop for all those who are new here and don't know that how this input function and for loop works. I have dedicated video for all of this basic concept the link will be provided below but I insist you to watch this video first because I'll try to explain these basic concept as short and as to the point as possible okay so for i in range first let me write then I'll explain you 0 to len of a string minus 1 okay so First of all, we'll create a for loop which will take the input from the range function and as we already know that a range function returns a list and that list will have the characters from zero because the starting value of this string will be zero. So it will start from zero and will go all the way to the length of the string. Let's say that I have given the length of the string as a uh, one two three four five so this is a five character word so the length of the string will be five so this value will become four because we know that the python indexing starts from zero so this is why we are reducing the number by one okay so this will go from one two three four if the word is of five character then we'll create another for loop just a second then we'll create another for loop for j in range and then this uh, j for loop will go from 0 to i plus 1 okay so just wait for a second because i'll explain you that how these things are happening okay okay so we have completed the first half let me explain you that how these things are working actually only one line is left so first let me explain you the main part of this program so first this for loop will take the input from this range function and this range function returns a list which is this if the string provided by the user is of five character okay so in the first iteration the value of i will be zero because the first value will be selected from this list okay so in this for loop for j in range 0 to 0 plus 1 this is why we have added a 1 here so that in the first iteration it doesn't become 0 okay so this list will have only one value which is 0 because only one value is provided here from the range 0 to 1 okay so only one character will be present so this for loop will run only one time and this is what we want we want to print the first element only of uh, of this string so what we'll do here is now i haven't closed this uh, bracket here so we'll print the string of j now for all those who don't know that how the string manipulation works if you want to call a specific element of a sequence now string list these all are sequences and if you want to call any element of a sequence you just write their index or their place where they are present okay 
लाइक एच इज प्रेजेंट एट द जीरो इंडेक्स बिकॉज पाइथन इंडेक्सिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सो एच इज प्रेजेंट एट द जीरो इंडेक्स एंड दिस जे फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो दिस जे वेरिएबल इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द वैल्यू जीरो सो द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ जीरो बिकॉज इन द फर्स्ट इटरेशन दैल्यू ऑफ जे इज जीरो एच विल बी प्रिंटेड विच इज आवर फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर एंड देन वील एड सम स्पेस है दिस इज जस्ट फॉर डेकोरेशन पर्पज यू कैन एक्सक्लूड दिस पार्ट ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू द सेकेंड इटरेशन नाउ इफ यू आर कंफ्यूज जस्ट स्टे अलॉन्ग फॉर जस्ट वन और टू मिनट्स बिकॉज एज वी मूव अहेड द थिंग्स विल बिकम अलॉट क्लियर ओके सो नाउ जीरो हैज बीन रिमूव नाउ द वैल्यू इन आई विल बिकम वन okay so this i value will have the value 1 and this for j in range value will be 1 plus 1 which is 2 so this range function will return two values first is 0 and second is 1 so so two times this for loop will be executed and then we'll print the string of j so first the value of j is 0 so the string of 0 let's take this hello example only the string of 0 h will be printed and then the string of 1 which is e e will also be printed okay so in the same manner the loop will run again the for i range one but now the value of i is 2 so for j in range 0 to 3 because i plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 and now this uh, for loop will have the input of three values so this for loop will run for three times string of 0 string of 1 and string of 2 this is how the whole string will be printed in a step wise manner okay now let's run this and let me show you that how uh, this will look now this project is not complete so you won't get this result i'm just going to show you that what will be the output after this amount of code okay uh okay you are having an error uh let's save this and let's write our text hello there you can see all the characters are printed in the same line but you can see the pattern in them h h e h e l h e l l h e l l o so the pattern is what we require so our first point has been satisfied that it should follow this pattern now our second task is to create a step wise pattern now you don't need to do anything after this for j in range loop because this will define the step we need to add a blank space here so after this for j in range loop we'll simply add a blank space and let's save this and okay so if anyone is using the new sublime text can you tell me that how the terminal in this works because i've just installed it and when i press ctrl plus b the search option is showing up so if you know just comment down below because i'm really confused <laughs> now let's get back to the program and let's run this and let's write our string hello and there you can see perfectly looking triangle with our hello okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can take the input from the user a string and then print that string in a staircase format okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye